Hello, Miles here, and welcome back to another tutorial video brought to you by Global Social Media Marketing. Forums are a very important part of every website because they help you to easily capture leads and collect data in an organized manner. There are different types of forms that you can use for specific purposes. The most common example of a form is the Contact Us form. For instance, you'll find a straightforward Contact Us form on the GSMM Contact Us page, accessible to anyone wishing to reach out to us. Similarly, there are many other forms such as newsletter forms, lead and data collection forms, appointment forms, job applications forms, survey forms, purchase order forms, and many more. We're using Go High Level CRM, which is all in one marketing and sales software. It comes with a simple and easy to use form builder. Using this builder, you can't only build forms but also analyze and track submissions. Let's see how you can create forms in the Go High Level. Step 1 Navigate to Forms Builder. Navigate to your high-level account and go to Sites from the left navigation panel. Now hover over the Forms tab. Under the Forms tab, you will see three submenus. Builder, it will bring you to the Forms area from where you can check all the existing forms and create new forms. Analyze to track how many forms are filled over time and which forms have how many submissions. Submissions, check all the submissions with their detailed information. You can also filter out the submissions by selecting desired forms, fields, or date ranges. Plus, you have the option to export the contacts. Step 2. Create forms in Go High Level. To create forms, select the builder from the Form drop-down menu. From this page, hit the Add Form button. For creating a form in High Level, you have two options. Start from scratch. It will open up the blank builder from where you can create the entire form from scratch. You will get a drag and drop builder, and based on your need, you can create your own form. Choose from the template. It will give you a list of pre-built forms for different industries and purposes. You can simply select any of the pre-built templates and edit them as per your needs. So, you don't need to create the forms from scratch. Creating a form from templates is quite easy. Just find the template that suits your needs and edit it further your form will be ready to go. As of now, we're going to select the Start from Scratch option. Step 3. Add Form Elements To build a form, you need to add elements or fields like full name and email. For this, Go High Level Forms have two options. Quick Add Elements of pre-built fields that you can add to your forms with a drag and drop option. Custom Field Sometimes we want to add some custom fields in our forms. In that case, you can create your own field as well and add it to your form. You can see the custom field that we've created in the past. Plus, there is a button to add a new custom field. Now, click on the Add Custom Fields button. Next, you will see the field types that you can add such as text, values, choosing options, and other types. For example, if you want to add a drop-down in your form, you can select a drop-down, multiple, from the Choosing Options section. Once selected, click on the Next button, and then you can add drop-down menu options. Now the custom field will be created, you need to add that field to your form. For this, just search for the field name that you just created, drag the field and just drop it to the form place where you want to add it. Lastly, make sure to hit the save button from the top. And there you have it. This is how you can create and add custom fields in your form. Step 4. Style and customize the forms in Go High Level. Once you have added the elements, you can style and customize the look and feel of your form. For this, open up the Style and Options menu from the right side. Next, you will see the various options for styling and customizing your entire form. Let's briefly talk about the styling features. Layout Settings Inline Form To align all the form fields in one line, Show Label To show the name of the field. Full Screen Mode To expand the form to the entire width of the container. Input Style Either choose Boxed or Line Style for input. Next, you will see the various options for styling and customizing your entire form. Form Style From here, you can change the background color and apply borders and padding to add more breathing to your form. Additionally, there is also an option to add a shadow. Field Style Next, you can style the fields of your form, such as full name and email field. You can choose background color and font color and apply border options. Additionally, you can add padding and shadow to make your form field more attractive. Label and Short Label Label is the name of the field which is shown above the input area. In our form, the full name and email are the labels. From here, you can change the color, font family, size, and weight of the label and short label of your form. Placeholder Settings A placeholder is a value that is pre-written in the form field to give direction to users. 
For example, in this form, the placeholder value is just the same as the label of a field which is full name and email. Step 5. Style individual fields. You've now styled most elements of your form, but these settings apply to the entire form. If you wish to customize individual fields, simply select the desired one. On the right side, you'll find settings specific to that field. Here, you can modify the label, placeholder, and short label name. Moreover, you have the option to mark the selected field as required. Based on the element, the settings may vary. For example, if you select the button field, you will get many more styling options. Step 6. Customize the things after submission. Following that, you can personalize and design the actions that will occur when the user clicks the submit button. For instance, you can display a thank you message and redirect them to another URL. You also have the option to modify the name of your form. While this name won't be visible to users, assigning it a unique name can help distinguish it from other forms. Lastly, there are options to add a Facebook Pixel ID for tracking and triggering relevant events. After completing these steps, remember to click Save. Additionally, you can preview the form by selecting Preview from the top menu. Step 7. Customize the settings for integration. Navigate to the top bar and click Integrate. This will open up the page for you which includes settings for integration. On the left side of the page, you can select the layout for embedding. It means how you want to display the form on the sales funnel or external website page. There are four different layout styles to choose from. Sticky sidebar. The form will appear on the side of the screen and can be minimized to a tab that sticks to the side of the window. Polite slide in. The form appears on the bottom side of the screen and disappears once closed. Pop-up. A pop-up shows the form as an overlay inside a light box. It cannot be minimized but closed. In line, the form appears along with the content of the page as a native element. It does not overlay and cannot be closed or minimized. Depending on your form's type, you can choose a suitable layout for embedding it in sales funnels or website pages. In this case, since we've crafted a contact us form in this guide, the inline format is most fitting. Upon selecting your preferred embed layout type, you'll find the corresponding settings on the right side. Trigger type. Choose how you want to trigger the form. You can select want to add form after someone scrolls up to a few depths. Perfect. Choose the show on scrolling option and add the percentage. Want to show form after some time from the visit. Great. Choose the show after option and add seconds after which you want the form to be displayed. Lastly, you can pick the always show option if you want the form to always be on the page. I selected this option because the contact us form should always be there on the page. Activate options. From here, you can tell when you want to activate the trigger of a form. You have two options, activate on underscore visit. It allows you to activate the form on a visit basis. For example, you can add two visits to show the form to the user who will visit the second time. Always activate. Select this option if you want a form to be always activated. I'm selecting this option because the contact us form should always be activated. Deactivate options. You can also define the ways to deactivate that particular form. Here you have three options. Deactivate after showing underscore times. Enter the value after which you want the form to be deactivated. Deactivate once the lead is collected. This will stop displaying the form to the leads who are already collected. Never deactivate. This feature ensures that the form will continuously remain visible. For this guide, I will select this option because the contact us form will never be deactivated. Once you made the change, hit done and it will bring you back to the main form builder page. From here, you can hit the save button to make sure everything is saved. And finally, step eight. Embed the forms. You can embed the form in the high-level sales funnel pages or external website or sales funnel pages as well. Now effortlessly integrate your high-level form into external sites using this straightforward method. Click on Integrate from the Form Builder area as shown in the above step. Once you've selected the embedding type, you will see the two options for embedding. Copy embed code. Click on it to copy the code and paste it on the back end of your external website or sales page. Copy form link. Copy the link of your form and insert it in the site where you want to link it. Steps for embedding the forms in Go High Level Sales Funnel Pages If you want to embed the form into the high level sales funnel or landing page itself, you can easily do it with a few mouse clicks. Just open the sales funnel page in which you want to embed the form. Once you're in the sales funnel builder, click on the plus icon to add an element and then select form. Next, Form Picker will pop up, and from here you can select the Go High Level form that you want to add to your Sales Funnel page. I'm going to select the form that we've created for this guide, which is the Test Form. 
Once you select the form, it will start displaying on that sales funnel. And make sure to save the funnel as well. This is how you can embed the form within a high-level platform or external website in Sales Funnel page. I hope this tutorial has provided comprehensive guidance on creating, customizing, integrating, and embedding forms in Go High Level. As a marketing agency affiliated with it, we extend our assistance to clients globally for optimizing, managing, and automating their businesses with Go High Level. If you enjoyed this video and found it valuable, kindly give it a thumbs up, drop a comment, and share it with others who might benefit. Explore more on our website at globalsocialmediamarketing.com. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next video.